So that is all I got in candles and etc. I might actually be able to squish everything into this video. Um, so let's see if we could do that. We go to my scent shots. I got 25 scent shots. One was free, so I have 26 total. I'm gonna run through these very quickly. Some of them I've burnt, some of them, most of them I haven't. So first of all, I got Raspberry Violet, and I love this. Raspberry Violet is stronger on the violet, but it smells like, I don't know if anybody else remembers these. The violet gum and the violet candy, and I used to call it soap candy or soap gum, because it kind of tasted soapy, but it smelled so good, and that's what this smells like, and I actually got this because I want to try this with uh, Fizzy Pop for the Creative Scent Alice Cullen, so I like the scent by itself though, so that's great, so I always like when I get something that I love, you know, just on its own, and it was meant to be part of a Creative Scent. This one is Sweet sweet Rose, and this actually smells amazing. This is Vanilla and Rose, and I get both, but actually, this actually smells like a dupe for Lush's vanilla -y perfume. And I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be. I don't think so. But I get more vanilla than I do rose. I get, like, vanilla with a touch of rose. It smells amazing. I really like this. Okay. Blue raspberries. I've tried this one. I've burnt it. Or melted. This smells just like blue raspberry candy. I mean, I could pick out the fact that it's blueberry and raspberry, but it's just, together, it smells like blue raspberry candy. It smells so good. And I actually got this one to mix also with Fizzy Pop to try Just Keep Swimming create a scent so I like this on its own I haven't tried the create a scent yet but I definitely will and I'll let you guys know how I like that Cafe Olay hope I'm saying that right this was my free scent shot and it's just a delicious sweet coffee scent I like this very much okay this one I love this I haven't melted it yet I love the smell of this so much. Blushing peaches. And this just smells like peachy candy to me. Like um, like the peachy O's. The gummy peach O's. Oh, it smells so good. Honey orange. And a lot of these I got on recommendation from Deb and Ashton. Um, I'll put a link to... Uh, Deb's channel below, if I can remember to do that or how to do that because I'm kind of dense. But, um, yeah, no, they have, they do great reviews. I love their videos and, uh, I take a lot of what they recommend to heart. Honey Orange, when I smell this cold, it smells like a dish liquid or a hand soap to me. It's soapy, so I mean... I hope it smells different when I melt it, but right now it's nice, but it's not what I expected it to be. So let's hope that it smells different when I melt it. Vanilla Bean Noel. I got this to mix with um, Spearmint for Deb's uh, Eskimo Kisses Create a Scent. I haven't tried it yet, but uh, it smells really good by itself. Cajun cornbread. Now, I told um, Victoria that I was uh, really liking my sugared corn pudding with um, mango sorbet. She said if I liked that, I had to try this. And this just smells like corn, like exact, exactly what it's supposed to smell like. It smells like cornbread with peach preserves. It smells amazing. Uh, Kimeno silk. I like, I really like the way this smells. I get the fruity and it's fruity and floral. I get more fruit than I do floral, but I do smell the floral and it's a touch perfumey. Actually, I would really like to eventually get perfume from Melissa in this scent because it smells amazing. Blueberry cheesecake. 
Blueberry cheesecake. I cut this up and it kind of didn't cut evenly, so it's all right. I love this. Oh my God. It's strong and fruity blueberry. And then you get like that creaminess from che the cheesecake. I like this a lot. St. Lucia. Now Ashton was saying that she actually likes this better than Tiffany D. Sorry, Ashton. I can't agree. But I haven't melted this yet. I like Tiffany D more. Tiffany D to me is a little bit uh, more on the melon. And I really like that note. So, I mean, I like St. Lucia, but I like Tiffany D a little better, I think. Grape soda. And it, it smells like Welch's grape soda. I get the fizzy from the fizzy pop, and I get the grape from the, you know, the grape, obviously. Um, I'm worried that when I melt this, though, it's going to be a little, like, diamond tappy. So, we'll have to see. Okay. O M G. Banana caramel cupcake. This is going onto my need to scoop some scents or a big candle list like yesterday because it's oh my god. This smells exactly like it says it's gonna smell. It's a banana caramel cupcake. It's amazing. And I'm discovering that I really, 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 really like Victoria's banana scents. So that's very nice. Um, bergamot and mandarin. I get a very clean, fruity, citrusy scent. Like, but it's it's more like relaxing citrusy. It's not like a in your face, wake up pow citrus, you know. But I like that. It's it's nice. Because my sexy and stilettos keeps popping open. We'll do that one next. Son of a gun. Sexy and stilettos. Now, sexy and stilettos was created for Lana Indiana, who is a YouTube guru. And uh, this is like the embodiment of like womanhood, I guess. It's very sexy and sweet, and it's a fruity floral. It is so nice. So, so nice. I really, really like that very much. Um, blue Sugar Cotton Candy. This is a, recommend a recommendation from Ashton. And I like this, but I have to say, it makes the blue sugar so sweet that it almost takes something away from it for me. So I think that when I order blue sugar, I'm going to order blue sugar and not blue sugar cotton candy. I like this. I wouldn't use this to get my blue sugar fix, though. I would definitely um, order the Aqualina blue sugar over this. But I like this, too. Okay. I'm sorry, everybody. I am not a fan of Victoria's Cobbler Sense, or at least thus far. I don't like this. There is something about blueberry cobbler that I don't like. It has to be the cobbler because I know I like her blueberry. But it just, it doesn't smell right to me. It's weird. Maybe it'll be different when it melts. I will absolutely try it. But I don't like that at all. The same goes for this one. Don't know what it is. I don't like wildberry scone. I'm hoping that it'll be different when I melt it, but... It doesn't, it just doesn't agree with me. It, it smells, Wildberry scone, like I could smell the scone. It might be a little too bakery for me. I don't get enough berry from this. So that might be it. And the same thing I think goes for the cobbler. I think the cobbler overtakes the blueberry a little bit too much for me, for my personal taste. Okay. Brooks Delight. Uh, it'd be helpful if I put it the right way, right? Brooks Delight. And Brooks Delight is a straight up fresh squeezed orangey juicy scent to me. It's so, like, I've tried some other oranges from, from Victoria. I have to say this is the closest one to that fresh squeezed orange, you know, scent that people are always talking about looking for. I really like 
Brooks Delight. <clears throat> no me gusto snuggle up. I do not like this. This is supposed to be a dupe for, I believe, Comforter from that company that should not be named that I think I goofed and actually named earlier in the video. And that product doesn't have patchouli in it, but this scent shot is heavy on the patchouli and it's so heavy that I don't know if I'd even be able to burn this because patchouli gives me a migraine. So I don't know. Don't really like that one at all. But you, know, you win some, you lose some. She's got 750 some odd cents. I'm not going to like every cent. That's just the way it is, you know. Scent is personal, you know. Everybody's nose is different, and what works for me isn't necessarily going to work for everybody. Or vice versa. This is spearmint. And spearmint just smells like Wrigley Spearmint Gum. And I got this to try Eskimo Kisses, which is this and Vanilla Bean Noel. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Frosted like Lime Cupcakes. And Frosted Lime Cupcakes just smells like Frosted Lime Cupcakes. I get the cupcake. I get the sugary lime frosting. It smells very good. I like that. Oh. This one... Actually, when I cut it, I couldn't fit it back into the container. So I actually ended up putting it in a baggie so I didn't lose any of it. And it's... Granny's Pie Crust. I absolutely love Granny's Pie Crust. It's so creamy and like warm and comforting and it definitely smells like a buttery delicious pie crust. It's so good. I really love this scent. Okay, the next thing I got is we're almost done. We've got three more scent shots. This is Fudge Brownie. And I get brownie batter. I can't wait to melt that because if it smells that good melting, oh my god. Goodness gracious, that smells delicious. It makes me want brownies really bad. Bergamot and Herbal Mint. I like this. This is like, this is what I, the kind of scent that I wanted eucalyptus spearmint to be. It's like a relaxing, very minty, very, like the citrus is more subdued because bergamot isn't a very strong citrus to my nose anyway. But this is so relaxing. I just want to like, like this, take a hot bath like this, read a book and just kind of get ready for bed with this melting in the background. Amazing. Love it. Love it. Love it. And last but not least... I am so surprised at how much I love this scent. I got it because my friend Jessica, and everybody on the message board has been talking about it, but my friend Jessica was like adamant that I had to try it. Elvis. And Elvis, Elvis is freaking delicious. Oh my God. I wanna eat this. It smells like banana. And it smells like peanut butter. And that's it. Banana and peanut butter. And it is... It's seriously good. I love this so much. This was a fantastic order. I mean, as you could see, there were a few scents I'm not crazy about at this point. I will let things cure. I will absolutely try everything that I've ordered. You know, that's just the way I feel. I can't form an opinion on something until I've tried it. You know, so I've given it a chance to at least melt it as well or burn it. Um, I absolutely love 99.99% of this order. Thank you for the perfect packaging as always. I mean, I meant to show you guys. I had, the, the box was ginormous. I actually took out an entire tall garbage bag full of the packing puffs. And there was a ton of bubble wrap. Nothing came broken. Everything came perfect. So at CBV, they were so careful about everything. I love you guys. I love everything I got. Thank you so much. And thanks for the generous sale.